So follow along really closely. This recipe is super easy and I know you'll all enjoy too. And if you love ginger ale, then this is the right recipe for you because you can make a lot, get your money's worth, and if you get a lot of stomach aches, I'm just gonna tell you, this is a good cure for it. Now follow along. You're gonna need about three big, huge chunks of ginger, about two cups worth. Start out by washing your ginger thoroughly because you want to remove all that dirt and make it absolutely clean. Just rough chop your ginger up really quickly and it doesn't need to be perfect and you don't even need to peel it. Make sure you have a three or two quart size pan for this. Add all of the ginger in and let's go grab the water. You're gonna need five cups of water, H2O. Pour all your water into the pot. Crank the heat up onto high so you can boil this to make a nice flavor. You're gonna need two cups of white sugar. Pour all your sugar into your water. Don't touch the sugar, let it dissolve on its own naturally and bring this water to a boil. Set your timer for 55 minutes. As soon as the timer goes off, you're gonna remove it and use some of the other mitts because it gets quite hot and strain your mixture. As you can see, it's a dark, beautiful, syrupy color. Let's strain our hot liquid into a, a jar that you want to keep it in. I'm just pouring it into a cute mason jar and then I'm going to refrigerate it. Pull your syrup out of the refrigerator and you're going to need about five tablespoons of syrup added to the cup. Add a couple ice cubes to your glass because warm soda tastes horrible. You're going to need some of this club soda. Just pour it in your glass and there's no exact measurement. Just add it to your liking. Now mix the syrup and that soda together. Now your mint leaves are for garnish and looks for your drink. The ginger ale syrup that we made, the simple syrup, will last you a month. It's amazing. And now you can make your own homemade ginger ale too, just like I did. Cheers!